spring practice going on. Uh, what have you liked from what you've seen in terms of conditioning development? Of Definitely, uh, you know, this, this spring being coming into my second spring here, guys have uh, you know taken uh, taken ownership of their bodies and done a good job of t doing um, doing stuff on their own. And um, it's more so what they're doing outside of here, which is helping them as well. Uh, granted, you know, we can design the best training plan in the world, but if guys are not eating right, not sleeping right, taking care of themselves, it's never going to work. And I feel like um, we're doing a good job of edu continuously educating these guys from the coaching staff to the strength staff to the training staff to the equipment staff. Everybody in the building is educating these guys on how to take care of their bodies. And that's why we've had um, good development in the spring uh, so far with our guys. And more importantly, it's great to have our, our young guys join us early. We had, you know, about 10 newcomers come in early. So those guys are starting to learn the system so they can hit the ground running when we start camp in August. Competition at the end of practices throughout the spring. What are you hoping to get out of that? For sure. Uh, the competitions, you know, it's, it's one of those things where uh, we always try to find ways to compete year-round, on a year-round basis, because at the end of the day, we want to build a competitive team, we want to build a physical team, a fast team, and the competitions are just another way for our guys to compete against each other outside of a football setting and also learn how to work with, amongst the team um, within the team. So it's one of those things where, uh, you know, Guys are they're excited about it, and it's a great way to end our weeks, uh, our week of spring ball practice. You know, they work hard during the week, so doing the competition on Friday is another great way for us to, to, to cap off every week. So, from a development standpoint, who stood out to you in terms of when the season ended to when they showed up for spring? Who took a biggest jump? Uh, individually, we had a lot of guys obviously make jumps. Um, the guys that can stand out in my in my mind right now, when I first seen them, we got back was Jackson Mitchell made a huge, uh, huge jump from uh, the end of the, the end of the season. Uh, to what we came back in January. Malik Dixon did a great job with himself. Eric Watts. I mean, you had a lot of guys, younger guys, that made huge leaps, and I feel like that is one of the things that's helped them uh, going into, you know, Eric Watts being his second spring, and then Jackson, those guys being their first spring, um, has helped them be successful during the spring ball period. Uh, you know, and then also, I was impressed with some of the young guys that came in. Uh, some of these guys, you know, they technically should still be in high school, and they're, and they're being able to, they're able to hang with uh, some of our guys, so it just shows that we've increased the talent level level on our roster and more importantly brought in football players better athletes so I'm sure you guys will have their own opinion on this question but you probably have the times who's the fastest guy on the team uh fastest guy right now Aron Aron is a track guy I always tell him I say you know you, you run 4-3 on the track I haven't seen it on the field yet <laughs> so it's one of those things where uh yeah Aron is he is the fastest guy on the team right now time wise but you know, it'll be interesting when we test our guy. We will, we will test our 40s again at the end of uh, the end of the semester. So it'll be interesting who takes the title. If Haran keeps his title, or if one of these young guys is going to step up and take the take the uh, the crown as the fastest guy on the team. You make a good point. So track speed versus football speed. How sure. do you how do you really develop that? And what do you guys do to focus? To help uh, so those guys? I'm. I, I'm going to have uh, Coach Ant, he's going to talk a little bit about how we use our, our catapult system, but you know, you, you talk about track speed, so you talk about time speed versus like actual speed. So with our GPS monitoring system, we got some guys that have hit, you know, 20 plus miles an hour in, in, um, during a game situation or in a practice situation, but then in turn, they're not as fast on the time speed. So uh, there's definitely guys that are, that are faster time speed than they are actual speed so uh, it's one of those things where we're just continually continuously trying to develop speed on an everyday basis we incorporate speed into the warm-up on an everyday basis uh, you know it's one of those things where uh, we want to be the fastest team on the field and we're continually developing that from the weight room to the field work we do and just continually educating the guys as well so and a final question uh, after practice I see a lot of guys heading into the weight room yeah. not even going to the locker room yeah. uh, is that something they're doing on their own yeah so the weight room man it's one of those things where they fell in love with the weight room and, I, and that, that's a credit to them that's nothing to do with me or my staff that's uh that's on them you know those guys have uh they, they love being in that room um you know they, they've created an environment where they enjoy that's that's their room and that's their time to um you know go in and, and get extra work in and it, it's kind of driven you know you see travis being there and caleb and you know jackson a bunch of guys are always in there on an everyday basis getting extra work in and it's, it's just more on them and what happens is one guy sees one guy doing it another guy's gonna be like hey well, you know what are you doing they, they bring the, end up bringing each other in and it, and it, it creates that environment where um guys just love working not work love working uh in the weight room and love training so and you say pride in that message just hitting home for sure I, I take pride in that message I mean our staff takes pride in that message because uh, it shows that, that that our coaching staff has done a good job of instilling that in them and, and, and our strength staff and our training staff guys are starting to understand how to take care of their bodies how the weight room works how the training room works how everything works in terms of your uh, increase athletic, your athletic performance on the field awesome